Hey guys, so it's a bit cloudy today, but I thought we would do something in the kitchen. But I'm noticing it's kind of dark, <laughs> but y'all can see me. So today we got something called 315 PM tea. And this is what it looks like. It is instant boba tea. And I'm really excited about it. So I've never made anything like this before. It cost me about, I think 20 something, 21 bucks on Amazon and I thought we can go through it and see how it works because you know I'm always looking for new recipes in boba so let's check it out <laughs> and let's cut off the little strap the box is really cute and I'm still kind of wondering how do we open it oh okay that's so clever Look at that. It says brown sugar jelly bubble milk. Oh, it's a whole little thing. How does this work? You can do a cold or hot. Look at this, guys. I guess that's the jelly. I'm going to read some instructions on this. I have no idea how this works. It says children and elderly people must chew thoroughly before swallowing. But chew what? This is not really boba. <laughs> and if you get a couple of other ones in there, is it more? Are they all the same? Yeah, they all the same. And then you get this. Most good. It's like, like um, brown sugar. And now you get this. It's all in different language there. Like it's Korean down here. So... I don't really know the insurance. Use directions. Hmm, that might be a problem. <laughs> and it says anytime, anywhere. So I'm, I'm gonna check the box and see if there's any instructions on there. It's in English. So we got these, and then they're all the same. But it just feels a pretty cool box. I have no idea. You're supposed to roll it in your hands. <laughs> I have no idea how that's gonna work, but it's a little exciting. Let's move this out the way so we can have a little bit more room. Actually, though, before we do that. Let's look and see the instructions on the actual box. Okay, here's some instructions on the box. It says, like, you do a cold or hot, take a tea bag into a cup, pour 100 cc's of hot water on it. Don't really know what cc's are, but I'm going to probably say a half a cup, half a cup of water maybe. Uh, steep it for five minutes and stir it until a teaspoon of pressed the tea bag until it appears tea color. Add one pack of jelly ball and stir slightly for 30 seconds. Then it says add 150 grams of ice. I think 150 grams is like one cup of ice cubes. And the amount can be adjusted according to the personal preference. So this should be interesting. Let's let's check it out some more. I'm going to get some of the cups ready. Okay guys, so I heated it up. Right now it is boiling. And I found on the other side of my measuring cup... I found it said it's number of 100, and I don't know if it's milliliters or whatever, but I saw 100, so I just went for it. That'll make me right, but I said maybe that's the measurement they're looking for, so <laughs> good enough for me, right? Good enough for me, good enough for you, <laughs> because we're going to go through this together. So if this doesn't turn out perfect, like, who cares? We just want to do it together. Let's open up the tea bag. Oh, wow, you get it. It's a huge tea bag. Look at that. What is this? <laughs> I was watching another lady on this and uh, she didn't get the jelly one, but she got a different one and she said the tea bag is huge. This is a huge tea bag. So let's dip this guy in. And they said to let it sit for I think 30 seconds. So the tea bag, pour, blah, 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 press tea bag slightly. So we yeah, 30 seconds. So we're going to just dip it in. Oh wow, when you press it, look what it turns into. So it's got the milk with it. Wow. Let's put this over here. And now we're going to do the fun part that I'm curious about. It's a tear here. And I'm like, how? It's just like right in the middle. Like, how? Where do I tear? Oh, okay. So look. You tear like this. I want to get on my camera. Oh, wow. Oh, there is ballies in there. Look at that. It was ballies all, all this time. 
Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. Oh, okay. I like this. Okay, I'm starting to like this, guys. I'm starting to like it. I'm starting to like it. Add one pack of jelly balls and stir slightly for 30 seconds. Oh, I was supposed to steep that for five minutes. <laughs> Oops. This tea bag, I just reread it right here. It says the tea bag will stay in there for five minutes. Oh my gosh, you know I already now messed up, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add the ice. Oops, oops, don't want to lose my precious ice. Let's add the ice to my, this is the cup I like to use for my bubble tea. And now while the mixture is still nice and hot, let's pour it onto the ice. For instant boba. Oh, that is so cool. Okay guys, so here's the moment of truth. I got it in quite a large little cup. It doesn't actually need a cup that big. This is the cup I like to drink my boba out of. And it's this instant boba tea by 3.15. It's called 3.15 p.m. like a actual uh, time. So we're gonna drink it and see how instant boba tastes. So let's try it. Oh, no sugar added, no cream added. This is it by itself. Oh, hmm. That's good. It's actually sweet. I did not expect it to be that sweet. Wow. Wow. That's good. This is sweet. Now, I'm not going to lie. Usually when you get things like instant teas or stuff like that, it's never sweet. This is sweet and it's sweet enough for me. And y'all see how I make my Kool-Aid. I use sugar. So if it's sweet enough for me, it's sweet enough for you. And this is great. This is with added ice on top of it. I'm I'm loving this. Mmm, the boba is interesting. The mm. boba is sweet, but I don't think it's boba. Like, ew, I gotta clean up. Ew. Mess up the aesthetics, me. No, the boba is not boba, I think. It has to be careful when you chew. It's to make sure that as elderly and children should be supervised and they eat it for spoons. So just know that for, for something. So I'm being very careful when I'm chewing it up uh, properly. But it doesn't taste like boba. It tastes good, though. It's like, it's a sweet, sweeter than boba. It takes a type of, like, jelly. But, like, not like popping boba or nothing. It mimics boba pretty darn good. This is what it looks like. I think that's a jelly ball. You can see my lipstick on my fingers. <laughs> I was pulling it out as I got lipstick on my fingers. But this is like more like a, like a jelly ball. I don't think it's quite boba, but it mimics it enough for me. And as a person who likes boba, it's good enough for me. So I like it. <laughs> I almost like it a little more than boba because boba has a, like a distinct taste. But that's good. <laughs> Overall, I give it a 10 out of 10. I am ecstatic with it. I love it for instant boba. It's perfect. Love it. Uh, definitely recommend buying it. It's sweet. It's good. It needs nothing else. And that's what I'm impressed about. That doesn't need any extra sugar or any added sweeteners. It is good. So that's my review on it. It's excellent. Oh, no spots, by the way. I just saw it. I typed in instant boba on Amazon. That's when it came up. So, yeah, I'm really happy that happens. <laughs> Tell me what y'all think in the comments about it. It's look intriguing to y'all. Uh, would you ever try instant boba? Because I absolutely love it. Even though it's a jelly, I still love it. And I will talk to y'all guys later. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>